Yeah, jump in. Thanks, John, for joining us. It's Justin Chadwick from AAP. Just to start off with, what were your thoughts on the match? Um, I thought that we we struggled uh, from the start to the finish physically uh, more than anything. And um, look, you know, I'm not sure why that is. Whether it was the 10 day turnaround, um, but you know, we can't look for excuses. But we just looked heavy. We looked heavy from the start to finish, and then that's normally not like us. Normally, that we're a lot fresher. We, um, you know, we can not only match with other teams, but uh, also run all over them. But today. Physically, I thought we struggled, um, and uh, and look in the end, you know, we probably didn't deserve too much out of the game, um, but it's disappointing to lose, you know, right at the end like that. But you know, that's uh, we will pick ourselves up. We'll make sure that we're ready for the the next game and the last two games, and we'll get everything we've got. And um, you know, the boys are hurting, which is normal, but um, you know, we'll recover well and we'll get ready for Newcastle. It means it's, um, I guess, not in your hands in terms of finishing first. You have to rely on, on other results to fall your way as well. What's that like now, knowing that not everything is within your power? Oh, it doesn't change too much because, you know, they, they yeah, obviously we need to make sure that we win our games and, you know, hope that uh, the other results go away. But, you know, we can't control what the other results are like. We can only control what we can do. and. And that's what we'll focus on is controlling, you know, the the next game. Hopefully, get the result we want, and uh, and take it from there. But you know, we'll just keep working to try and get uh, those those points that we need to at least be challenging right at the last minute. What exactly was the injury to Lustig, and, and how bad is it? Um, I don't know how bad it is at the moment because we haven't uh, had scans on it yet. But uh, it was a calf injury, so not sure how bad. Hopefully not too serious. He said he felt it. He just felt it like gradually building up and getting tighter. So um, yeah, you know that that uh, it doesn't help when you, you know you're you have to change players so early on. But um, you know we've had to do it in the past and we've dealt with it. So you know hopefully he's not out for too long. Yep. And um, just your thoughts on the penalty that um, more replays seem to show was outside the box. Did, did you agree with that? Um, I, I did, to be honest, I didn't know. The replay wasn't so convincing, uh, whether it was outside the box or inside the box. The camera angles weren't so convincing because the camera angle was quite far. I have to accept it, uh, but it was hard to see whether it was inside or outside. I thought it was, it was pretty hard to see from where I was. It was hard on the big screen to, to know. If it was so clear, I don't think they would have taken five minutes. Yeah, no worries. All right, thanks for that. I'll pass it on to someone else. Uh, hey, John, just Nick here. Um, commiserations on the result, mate. Um, I mean, there was a period in that second half when you guys were able to, you know, get a bit of sustained, you know, a few chances in that little period of time and you were able to get on top. I mean, what did you notice in that period? Did you notice a sort of shift in the game? Like, did you notice in certain areas where you were starting to get on top? Yeah, look, we uh, we worked on a few things during the week, and uh, that that we where we could hurt them, and and that started to happen a little bit more in that that period there. Um, but they're always dangerous because they, um, you know, as soon as you might not hurt them or punish them, they quickly go down the other end. And uh, not that they created a lot of chances or clear chances. They, you know, they're a side that score freely, so we we, we you know kept them pretty quiet, uh, relatively quiet when you think about it, but. Yeah, we uh, we probably didn't make the most of our opportunities when we were getting into those areas, and th that's the disappointing part because, you know, of late we've created and scored a lot of goals, and um, we felt that if we got in those areas, which we did, you know, uh, a lot of the time in that period, we didn't create as many chances as we would have liked. So in terms of obviously you mentioned not many chances, but Jamie Young made a couple of really big saves again. I mean, just to comment on his performance, obviously couldn't do too much about the goal, but you know, again, made some big saves when he counted in that second half. Yeah, like you expect Jamie to make those saves when there's shots from outside the box. Um, the, the shots that they had were mainly from outside the box that they, and Jamie's good enough and, and well, you know, you know, maybe Jamie, if he wasn't obstructed a little bit by Arenia, it looked like uh, Arenia was, uh, had to duck while uh, when the shot came in from Qual, so maybe he would have saved it because normally from outside the box he saves those. So I'm not sure whether he was obstructed or not, but it looked like he moved a little bit too late on that. Um, and Arena was in an offside position, but you know that's I'm not saying that he was or he was obstructing him. It just looked like he ducked when the ball went past him. 
And just uh, last one for me, I mean, you got Newcastle in a few days. Are you hoping to get Josh Risden back for that game? Is he more on track for finals or for Adelaide? Um, and also as well, is any other injuries coming out other than Steve? Yeah, no, Lusty is the only injury coming out. And Josh probably won't be back for the Newcastle game. We have to see if he's all right for Adelaide. Um, but he definitely will be ready for finals. No, I got nothing, Robbie. Any final questions? Nah, all good. Thanks, Robbie. Thank you.